Hey everyone, it's Amelia and today I'm going to show you how I created a QR code that's a quick response code. It's that scannable uh, image like you see uh, them up here uh, using a free application called Unitag. And when I got started um, thinking about having some uh, of these scannable images in my books, I wasn't sure how to create one and I researched it online and I found that there was quite a few applications. So what I did was I found a chart for comparing different QR code generators and I read some reviews on various applications and I decided on Unitag, uh, which is listed here, and it does have a lot of the features checked. And um, even though you see a price of $11 a month here, um, that's if you opt for the premium version. So I thought I'd give it a try. Okay, so here's the main screen and I've already registered and created a login and a password. So I'm going to get started by clicking start and create a QR code. And here what I want to do is decide if I want a, a dynamic or static code and if you hover over this little eye symbol it explains that a static QR code cannot be edited, does not have analytics, a dynamic QR code can be edited and has analytics. So I thought well might as well try the uh, dynamic one which is already checked makes sense right so I kept the dynamic one checked and next I want to enter my destination URL so you might be thinking well why would I want to create one of these images um, so the benefit would be um, for any kind of printed material so if you have some kind of a book a booklet or some kind of publication or you know anything that's printed an advertisement and you want to uh, include a link to say your website, a specific um, maybe a blog article or your YouTube channel. Um, you can certainly include the URL specific website address but you can also consider including one of these images and instead of the person having to type in the URL all they have to do is scan it uh, and nowadays all mobile devices have a free QR reader app that you can download. In fact, if you have an iPhone, there's a wallet um, application that is automatically included on your phone. And if you launch your wallet, there's a reader that's included in, in the wallet. And when you launch wallet at the bottom, you just click scan code and then it will automatically look like, uh, look like sort of like you launched your camera and you'll be able to scan that code and it's, it's as easy as that. Anyway, getting back to this screen, I'm going to paste the URL for my YouTube channel because that's what I want to create a code for. I'm going to go ahead and click confirm. Alrighty, and that's step one. And by the way, I did notice this and it says customized QR codes, maybe unscannable, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I didn't really do much as far as customization. I just let it do its thing. And then step two, I mean, if you want it to, you can customize and explore all these options and colors and logos, etc. But I, I didn't do any of that. I just went with what it created and I clicked save and close. And then you get to choose a name for your QR code. Uh, so you want something unique, especially if you're going to create more than one. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in here um, easy uh, YouTube for my easy learning YouTube channel and I'm going to click save alrighty and I have my QR code uh, my scannable image and it's as easy as that so the only other thing I have to do at this point would be to download it and again you can uh, customize and explore all these different options but um, for you know quick and easy image I'm just going to go ahead and download it by clicking here on download and it tells me um, I can download my QR code in the size of 300 uh, pixels in ping format uh, for my use it's fine I think if you need something larger um, you have to upgrade to the premium uh, version but I think this will suffice um, you can also directly insert your QR code image on your web page 
uh, using the HTML code. So uh, in here, it's a little bit longer than what you see here. You can just, uh, I like to say triple click to select all, which is the same as uh, control A for select all and copy and paste it if you're um, adding it to your HTML coding. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and it's automatically downloading here and I'm going to click show in folder and it creates a zip file so you have to right click and extract it and then once you extract it it will um, explode out and give you a few files you'll have a PDF which includes some advice for using your code and then you'll have uh, three different images you'll have a thumbnail a horizontal a vertical and then just your average square QR code that is in a ping uh, format and you can take it and insert it in your book or um, marketing publication and uh, that's it and you know obviously you'd want to test it out so try it right now using my phone and even though you can't see my phone I'm going to click scan code on my wallet what happens is when you click scan um, code it comes up with what looks like your camera and then it says open in Safari I'm just gonna say yes I want to open in Safari and it has opened my YouTube channel that's very exciting so that's it for today's video I hope you found that helpful if you like my video please click like if you like my channel appreciate it if you subscribe have a great day